Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Welcome to the Calvin Dean Show, sponsored by the NFL Network. This is Calvin Dean. Wow, do I have a great show for you today. We are going to go over top 10 in draft prospects, and I'm going to throw a little monkey wrench into, um, and I think there's going to be more trades. I think New England's probably going to trade down and try to get a quarterback. I really believe that. Um, that right there, it would be huge. And I really believe that. I, I There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on. I mean, um, now, with the the whole quarterback situation, of course, we all know that Jacksonville, who they're going to pick. I mean, come on now. You know, do we had Adonis, the... the um, Hercules, the long hair, six foot six, Trevor Lawrence from Clemson. Wow, I mean that kid is just he's he's all world. I mean he's he's all world. He's um, you know I un- the unfortunate part about him is that he's going to Jacksonville, and that's the only unfortunate part about that. Uh, hopefully. You know, the, he won't get hurt like Mr. Burroughs did last year. That was an unfortunate situation. I even said that um, in my pre-draft show last year that Mr. Burroughs, if they play him, if they, I told everyone, I said, please keep him on the bench. You know, play him a little bit here and there, but don't play him. Don't start him. And they did. And I said, if you start him, he's going to get hurt. He's just going to get hurt. And sure enough, he got hurt. And I'm I'm saying the same thing to the Jacksonville Jags right now, man. Just just keep him on the sidelines, you know. Um, you know, bring him in when he's ready, you know, when he's ready, you know. And uh, because it, NFL is definitely different than uh, you know Clemson when you have an All American team, and then you're going for an All American team that just beats up on every single person that they play, right? Okay, and then he goes to a Jacksonville Jaguar, which is the direct opposite in the NFL. What just happened with Mr. Lawrence? You know, Mr. Lawrence on top of the, um, you know, on top of the world. You know, uh, for the last few years, I mean, Clemson Tigers, right? And you know, they're just beating up on everyone, just you know, pummeling people. Well, he's going to the direct opposite. He's going to the Jacksonville Jaguars, the worst team in football, you know, and um, he's going to have a rude awakening, unfortunately, rude awakening, because uh, yeah, he's not going to have the weapons like he had. He's not going to have the time like he had. Uh, so it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I, I, I hope hope that the Jacksonville Jaguars, um, you know, the organization and, and the coaching staff bring him in slowly. I would, if I was Jacksonville, I would go out and get a, um, like a, a, a type of quarterback, like a veteran quarterback, you know, and bring them in, you know, like Fitz, Fitz Magic, but you know, Washington was great by picking him up. But, um, all I'm saying is that, you know, I wish they would do something like that. And then they start the, um, the, the guy who's been a veteran to show him, you know, how it's done, you know, in, in the NFL, mind you, you know, and then and bring him in second half, you know, or maybe a, a few plays here or there, just get his feet wet, you know, just to feel, see how, it, how fast the game is because the game is so much faster than college. It just is, you know. My next pick would be well, of course, the New York Jets. Um, you know, they're not trading out of there. They they want Zach Wilson from BYU. I mean, that kid is just he's all world. I mean, he is all world. You know, he's six foot two, two hundred fourteen pounds. You know, he's he's just lightning watching him play. I mean, he's he's exciting. He's exciting. You know, that's that's the easy two picks. Now the third pick is kind of a uh, I don't know. Um, you know, the 49ers, they traded down, okay? They traded down uh, to the number three pick. Already, it's, it's, it's a done deal. So I feel sorry for Jimmy G because, you know, 
what does that mean? Jimmy Jesus is going to be the um, the elder who's going to teach the young kid how it's do- done, or will Jimmy G be traded? I think the latter. I think um, before I, I think maybe Jimmy G will go to the Jags to help out Trevor Lawrence. That would be a smart thing for uh, for the Jags to do, right? But uh, the unfortunate part about that would be is that. Jimmy G comes with a lot of money that, you know, guaranteed money that, you know, a club would have to pay out for. So that's, that would be a, you know, it would be hard for the Jacksonville Jags to pick up someone like that um, on maybe a one-year contract. I don't know. And then, um, so the San Francisco 49ers are third pick, Brilliant Nikki's Niners, um, Nikki, my great friend Nikki. Uh, she's whew. anyway. Um, yeah, get back to the 49ers, Nikki Niners. <laughs> um, they are, you know, they're third overall now, and they're definitely going to be picking up a quarterback. Now, uh, a lot of people are talking Justin Fields. Now, think about this when Justin Fields and um, Mac Jones had um, their pro debut on the same day. One in Alabama and one in Ohio. And um, that was Mac Jones' second pro day and uh, Justin Fields' um, first pro day. So um, they chose to go see Mac Jones throw 60 times. And uh, Shanahan was here. Um, So now, think about this. Now, Justin Fields... You know, you got to figure, oh, wow. Well, yeah, we're still considering Justin Fields. Now, it might have been a smoke screen, mind you. I'm telling you. Might have been a smoke screen. Because I think it could be Justin Fields. Because the 14th of this month, Justin Fields having his second pro day. And guess who's coming? 49ers are coming. They're going to be They're going to be there. Of course, they're good. they have to be there. You know, they. It's the funny part is, is this: they, everyone, know, they look at their their your stats. Okay, they look at film. They look at all types of film. They look at the preparation, how how the person is. They they look at their, um, and you know their, you know they all have a conversation with each quarterback. And Mac Jones, he's he's sort of like that brilliant. Like a Peyton Manning, you know, can diverse the game. And I think Mac Jones can be a good quarterback. I really do. I really do. I I think Mac Jones will be a better quarterback than uh, Justin Fields. I just see it happening. And there's a reason for it. You know, Justin, he, you know, relies on his running, a lot of running, right? Get, you know, and unfortunately in the NFL, um, you have to, I mean, you got, it's, you got to be, you know, really, really lucky if you're a running quarterback to, um, you know, to actually take on uh, the NFL and without getting hurt. And if you get hurt, wow, you know, look what hit RG3, you know. Anyway, uh, Nikki's Niners, they're up number three and uh, they're taking Mac Jones of the Alabama Crimson Tide, um, who just won the national championship. And um, now, mind you, a lot of people might think, well, you know, they have the Atlanta Falcons next. But I think someone's going to trade down. And the way the New England Patriots, you know, they, you know, they tried to, um, you know, get a, um, you know, they did, I don't know, they spent a hundred and, what was it? They beat $155 million in uh, just uh, signing bonuses this year. And that beat Miami's of last year of $144 million. So, uh, you know, I think, I think New England might, um, might trade up with the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons number four. Um, I think they might, I just think they might do that. I really do. I, I think because... The Falcons, they're looking for more defense, and um, and I think that would be a smart play. Um, and they're going to give um, some stuff. New England will um, uh, give them 
also something, some other picks. But I, I think they're going to trade down uh, to number four. I don't know. I just have that strange feeling. And um, I see uh, them picking a Justin Fields, <laughs> you know, and then having Cam teach Justin for a year or two and then um, bring in Justin. And so you'll have a, just a younger, more vibrant, um, you know, running quarterback. So, the, I mean, I think that's where maybe New England's going. You know, they really want to get to that running, like Lamar Jackson type of um, running stuff. You know, run it down their throats. You know, that's why they, they, they I mean, they, and double dual tight ends. Wow. You know, they have Justin Fields, dual tight ends. They have Cam Newton first and bring him, you know, Justin Fields, you know, split the, the time on, in quarterback. That would be fun to see. That would be fun to see. So that's what I think might happen. Number five, of course, you know, the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, I think the Bengals are going to uh, protect, they need to protect um, the um, the quarterback, Mr. Burroughs, because he just got hammered last year, got hurt. As I told everyone, if they start Burroughs, he's going to get hurt near the end of the year. Probably will be a bad injury. It was pretty bad injury um, that he suffered. He'll be back this year um Hopefully, at full strength by the as uh, soon as um, the um, season starts, uh, and um, I think he's they're gonna he's, they're gonna take Rashawn Slater north, from North Northwestern, an offensive big offensive tackle. I think they're gonna sure up uh, the line on the Cincinnati Bengals. I think that he's one of the best, um, you know, best picks you know on on the market. Uh, and then, um, I think, and then we have the Miami Dolphins, you know, and the next pick on the Miami Dolphins. I, I think the Miami Dolphins, uh, will go with Panay Sewell of, uh, Oregon, uh, the big offensive tackle is going to help out Tua. I think the offensive, offensive tackles, two offensive tackles, big old offensive tackles going five and six. Um, that's for sure. And then we have the Cardinals, you know, um, this is a pretty, I think this is a pretty easy pick uh, for the Cardinals. I really do. Um, I think uh, the Cardinals, they have D-Hop, they have all these, you know, just excitement and they need a tight end. I think they're going to go with Kyle Pitts from Florida, the the Cardinals for number seven pick. Uh, that's, that's, I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, number eighth pick. Now the eighth pick, well, guess what? Sam Donald just got into town. So what do you think they're going to do? They're going to they're going to they're going to they're going to have an uh, uh, an offensive juggernaut. They're going to get Jamar Chase. Yes, Jamar Chase will be picked. The, Cal- the Carolina Panthers will uh, now they have Sam Donald. They need some weapons to throw to, and that's who's going to go to the Carolina Panthers. The Denver Broncos, the Broncos. Now, whew, this is um, this is gonna be tough because you know I, they they only have like I think um, they only have um, I think their they, their defense they need to sure up their defense. I think Mecca Parsons from Penn State is going um, to the Broncos. That's what I think. Uh, I think that Drew Locke, they're happy with him. Once you get to number nine, I think the the top three picks and the quarterbacks, I think that's the top three. I, I think the other quarterbacks might might go in the first round, might not. Um, but uh, I don't I don't think the Broncos are going to go for a quarterback. I really don't. Yeah, they're definitely definitely going to go with a linebacker. And now we have the tenth pick. The tenth pick um, is the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas is they gotta they gotta sure up that defense, guys. They just got to sure up that defense. And I think they're um, they're gonna go with um uh Quiddy Payne from Michigan, the edge rusher. I think um that's the gonna be the number tenth pick. Um uh, the Dallas Cowboys. They need they need that edge rusher, and that guy's huge, he's fast. He you know, he's from Providence, Rhode Island, he plays for Michigan. Uh he's just He's this edge rusher. He's just he's just massive. I mean, the the kid is um, you know he was named as Rhode Island um, Gatorade Player of the Year in 2016. 
because of his um, on offensive rushing touchdowns. They had 13. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. The high school, you know, I mean, uh, the, the, the kid is just all world. He's just all world. Um, from, you know, this, you know, I think that's what they need. I think that's what the Dallas Cowboys definitely need. And um, that was that's my top 10, my top 10, guys. And, uh, you know, it's it's been a whirlwind of, uh, you know, things that are going on, you know. I mean, the Jets, uh, you know, they're... Um, I don't know. I don't see them doing much of anything. Um, I think uh, Mr. Wilson, I think Zach Wilson's an excellent pick for them. That He's an exciting quarterback. But they need some, you know, they see, definitely need some weapons. You know, where are the weapons? They, they That's what they need. They really do need that. Um, poor Deshaun Watson. Uh, I guess they had the 22nd girl that came in and um, is, you know, filed lawsuits against them. I know there's one lawsuit uh, that's a, like a criminal um, investigation, not a lawsuit, I guess. Um, you know, there, there's a criminal investigation on one girl uh, that's going on right now. So, wow, um, that guy's, um, uh, you know, um, you know, you go from the most wanted quarterback, everyone's trying to get you, and now since all these, um, you know, these allegations, um, a lot of teams don't even want to touch them, you know. They just don't want to touch them, man. You know, who, who knows, um, you know, what that's going to happen. You know, a big, huge suspension. That's what I'm seeing the league maybe, um, you know, it, it matters how the stuff, they, now this isn't criminal. These are um, lawsuits that are um, not not criminal, but there is, like I said, an investigation that's going on right now. That's um, what they've reported. Um, but you know, we'll see. And the biggest um, thing that's going on this last week: um, hats off to uh, Mr. Dak Prescott. I, you know, I guess his leg is looking much better. Um, he is. Um, <laughs> Oh uh, man, you got to be if you got to be stoked if you're a cowboy fan, because uh, his uh, he's starting to throw again, um, and he's I guess he's really looking good, you know that's what they're saying, you know. So um, I really um, that's it makes you so happy, and for you know cowboy fans now, you know they have their quarterback so to speak. I just will, I think that it's way too much money for him, but. That's what I think. Um, not saying that he's not great. I don't think he's worth that much money. That's just me. But I you know I'm so happy. You know he's definitely making it in, and um, you know he's definitely going to be there for the first game of the season. Wow, that's pretty. Hats off to Dak Prescott. You know, and his family. And man, I'm telling you something. Um, this whole league is just. It's going to be fun this year to watch. I mean, the Detroit Lions, that's going to be fun. I, I think they'll probably go out and try to get a wide out um, that's out there uh, in, uh, you know, on the draft. I, I really think Detroit will try to get some type of wide out, um, you know, like Jalen Waddle, if Waddle's still around, you know, or, you know, even, um, wow, I mean, Devontae Smith, you know, you know, so, I mean, people like that, I just, uh, or even uh, Kendaris Tony, you know, from Florida. Yeah, he's a, that kid is, it's exciting to watch. I mean, he's like, he's like, a, like the speedy five foot eleven, hundred eighty nine 189 pound kid. It's just, it's, he's exciting, exciting to watch. You know, there's so much going on. I mean, uh, did you hear Andy Dalton? Is starting for the Chicago Bears. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Oh, I'm sorry, Andy. It's 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 like an ongoing joke. <laughs> Andy Dalton uh, starting for the Chicago Bears. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Bears fan. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, you know, no, I'm not going to ask. Um, you know, anyone what they think about Andy Dalton playing on the Bears. 
Um, I just don't. I'm not going to say that. It's just, it's just silly. Um, you know, uh, now, I, <laughs> did you hear about what's going on with Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers is on Jeopardy for two weeks. He's going to be hosting Jeopardy for two, two weeks. And then he said after his football career, he uh, would um, love to um, be the host of Jeopardy because he um, thought that, uh, you know, he watched it his entire life. He loved Alex Trebek. And he's not going to, he's going to play it like Alex Trebek. That's what he's going to do. He's going to go there and and he's uh, he he's not going to add any flair or anything like that. He's definitely, um, you know, I can see him doing it. I, I can't wait to see uh, Aaron Rodgers is uh, the new Jeopardy host. Wouldn't that be fun, you know? Uh, so yeah, he even talked about he was talking about you know how how they think the Green Bay Packers will draft yada yada, you know and he made a couple of jokes about that. I don't know if he's going to finish it um, out as a Green Bay Packer. That's I think something um, you know I think if he doesn't do well this week uh, this year, um, you know, this might be his last year in Green Bay. That's just I have that strange feeling, you know. I tell you, the the Jets, um, you know, I think they're they're probably maybe going to try to near the end of the round um, get um, uh, a um, probably a wide out, you know, or an edge rusher, maybe Jalen Phillips, um, or um, or you know, as the edge rusher uh, from Miami. (laughs) The kid is that kid is good. And then Rondell Moore, or or Rondell Moore, you know, either or. Uh, he's um, a great wideout, Purdue. And that kid is really, really, really good, you know. Um, so, I mean, there's, you know, Washington football team, wow. Where would I go? I mean, I just, for them, I, th- I think they're more of um, a running back they're going to try to get Nigeria um, Harris of Alabama. I think that would be a great pick uh, for the Washington football team. That would be a really good pick, guys. Well, you know, to sure up. I mean, they they have you know they have a really really great defense, and they if they get some great offensive um, people there, you know, around uh, Mister Fitzmagic, they will uh, the, uh, definitely. I think they'll be the contender. For um for the division, I think they'll probably win the division next year um, against Dallas. It'll be between them and Dallas. Hey, but you don't 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 even you know the New York Giants are alive, man. They're still alive. They have Mr. Barkley coming back from injury, and uh, they you know, Kenny Galladay and man, woo, man Slater Galladay, woo boy, they, you know and um, Ingram. Whew. Man, you know, all they need is, um, uh, you know, some uh, some more, you know, some defensive help on, on the uh, New York football giants. You know, that's, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, how about the country getting vaccinated? It's important, people. I just need to tell everyone, you need to get vaccinated. Um, the country is just... It's we're opening back up, and the only reason why we're opening back up more and more, and that's in California, we're opening back up, is because people um, we have over twenty million people that we've vaccinated just in the state of California alone, and it's going to keep it keeps growing and growing and growing every day, and um, it, we it's just you know the more people get vaccinated, um, you know the spread of the virus um, just subsides. You know, and then we can go back to you know somewhat normal, and uh, I you know I just want everyone to you know just you know, this is not a political thing. It just isn't, people. It's it's a health thing for every American. Hey, you know I'm gonna tell you something. You have to watch this because it's not over. It just isn't over. You know, um, we have um, Toronto. Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Ontario, Canada. Um, they're going back to lockdown for, I believe it's two to three weeks. They just, today, it just happened today. 
in Toronto. In Toronto, um, you know, Ontario, that whole province of Ontario, you know, they, like I said, they have that big city of Toronto there. And they're all, they're locking down for, I think it's two to three weeks or something like that. Um, I know it's two weeks, definitely two weeks. Might be even um, going into a third week. So you don't want that to happen again to the United States. You just don't want that. We just don't want that. So what that means, just continue the mask wearing, social distance, don't let up. I want every one of my listeners safe. I really do. If, if, go out, get the vaccinated. Seriously, guys, get it. It's, it's just, well, the faster we do, the faster we get back to normal. And man, I want to go to a football game, guys. I want to go to a rock and roll concert, you know. Uh, today, we went to sushi and, and you know, there's only a few people in, in the restaurant and they had the doors open. They don't have the air conditioning going. Everything's going to get the airflow and no um, reprocessed air. Um, so, I mean, that was a joy. You know, and I, I would love to have air conditioning, you know, and be in there, you know, and feeling good and not having to reprocess air. And, um, you know, I, I just want that to happen, you know. So I just want everyone to uh, really, it's, it's all of us. We need to, to really um, uh, help each other out and do that. That's for sure. Man, it's been fun, guys. I mean, um, you know, there's a lot. I threw a monkey wrench into the um, to the draft, my mock draft, and I'm I'm thinking that I really think that um, the uh, New England Patriots are going to um, you know trade down with the Atlanta Falcons. I really do. Uh, they want the number four position, and uh, they're going to go for a quarterback. It's going to be exciting. I'll tell you something. They do that. Oof, Man, I mean, they're all world if they do that. <laughs> you know, and Nikki's 49ers, I mean, Mac Jones, definitely Mac Jones on number three. Um, he's going. Um, don't believe the rumors thinking, oh, well, you know, they're, that's just a smoke screen. No, they're going with Mac Jones. Mac Jones, um, he's going to be something special in the NFL. I think the top four quarterbacks are going to be special. I think the most special one, of course, would be Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson's going to be another um, uh, Mahomes type of kid to watch. He's exciting, and Mac Jones is um, you know he's going to be another Peyton Manning s type of guy going out there managing the game, you know, getting him down the field and um, you know and winning and finding a way to win. That kid is dangerous, dangerous. I mean, San Francisco dangerous, dangerous this year. Very dangerous. Same with the uh, Los Angeles Rams with Matthew Stafford. Oh, I can see that happening. You know, I'm telling you something. I think it's between the Los Angeles Rams and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to make it to the Super Bowl this year. The 2021 Super Bowl. Now, I predicted last year that Tampa Bay would go all the way and win the Super Bowl. And I predicted that before Gronk got on the team. So I'm predicting this year, um, I think it's going to be the Los Angeles Rams or the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I will have my pick at the end of the draft before the beginning of the season. Um, definitely I'll have that um, pick. I always love to pick. Um, and uh, I mind you, I picked the last two years um, um, who's going to go to the Super Bowl and who's going to win that Super Bowl. Uh, um, actually, no, the Nikki's 49ers. I did predict Nikki's 49ers would beat the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. I'll take that back. Take that back. Um, I, um, yeah, I predicted that. Um, and the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, Jimmy G hits that. Um, uh, Emmanuel Sanders um, down the middle near the end of the game. Um, the kid was wide open. Jimmy G overthrew him. They would have won that game. But, you know, who am I to say? You know, that's why Jimmy G's on the hot seat. Because uh, I, I really believe because of that one play. That's just me. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, people. Um, can't wait to next week. I'm going to even have a, you know, a more intense show. We're going to go over the top wideouts, 
the top running backs, where I think they might go, and why I think they might go. Um, we probably have more Deshaun Watson news. Sorry, Deshaun. I don't mean to um, bag on you, brother. I just don't. But, man, I mean, now there's 22 people. I mean, well, it was 7, 14, 19, 21, now 22. Uh, you know, wow. I feel sorry for you. Um, or you know, I feel sorry for the females as well. Either or. I um, <clears throat> can't judge one way or another right now. So. All the power to you guys. See you next week. This is Calvin Dean with The Calvin Dean Show, sponsored by the NFL Network.